Hi, so my name is Tasha, and today I'm going to be reviewing Karamine's Body Hair Minimizer. Um, so when I was first unboxing this product, and uh, this came like this, and it's like a simple, like, just FedEx box. Um, and then it had just the receipt in it, it had a little um, hair bag in it, but I bought it for $42. Um, but I did get the discounted rate as a first-time buyer of DSW uh, for 20% off, so I ended up buying for around $32. Um, so, it kind of, so the product came in this box, and, um, this box was nice. It has, like, some markings on it. It's, like, a little dirty on the sides, um, but it's, it's fine. It's a nice box. It's okay. Um, so, I was reviewing today, Karamine Body Hair Minimizer. Um, so online when I was first reading this product, it looked like it was more so, um, a product that would get rid of hair, um, sort of like a depilating cream. Um, and I think it still is, question mark. Um, <laughs> so there was a lot of articles about this, um, online, but there was no actually like full, um, re reviews, like no videos were done showing the product's results. Um, so I figured this, every article said like this is the best product if you want to spend money. A common Dublin and cream would cost between like 8 and $12 at most, like 15 But this product at retail per cost was 42 on their website. And a lot of other places like Amazon will like upcharge it up to like $100 for this one bottle. And this is how big the bottle is. Like it's, it's a pretty big bottle. Um, so I hope it would last me a long time. Um, so it does say in the directions. Um, for maximum results, apply a generous layer of caramine twice a day to desired areas. To accelerate process to shave or wax before applying. After achieving desired results, it is possible to switch to once a day. Continue treatment to maintain hair-free skin. You know, so it sounds pretty good. So I don't know if it's going to work in one sitting completely or if I'm going to have to kind of do this multiple times to see if my hair start to go away on like a common uh, depilating cream. So yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to work. Um, we're going to see how it goes. Um, with the, what I'm kind of looking for in this product though, if it is a indeed a depilating cream, I didn't um, misunderstand it as well as the other articles that I read. Um, I have polycystic ovarian syndrome and I'm also Russian, um, so I have a lot of thick body hair similar to a man's and it would be really nice if I didn't have to shave. I haven't shaved my legs in six months. Um, so they're very thick, long and dark, man. Uh, I started bleaching my thigh hair and that's going very well, but the lower hair is just too thick and it's just not working. Um, so a reason I really bought this cream too is because it is approved for men that really thick coarse hair, which is more similar to what my hair is. Um, so we're gonna see how it goes, and yeah. This is what it looks like inside here. So I'm gonna try this out and see how this goes. So a thick, generous layer. Oh, it's very thick, okay. And so it actually does smell really good and it is tingling slightly. Um, sometimes with depilating creams, you can see, um, the hair start to shrivel up underneath, and I don't know if that's happening or not. I don't think it is, but I might be under this thicker layer. I also put it on really thick in the middle, really thin on my hand, and then on the sides a little thinner, um, to kind of see if it, how thick of a layer you need when applying this, if it's actually going to reduce hair or not. Um, so we'll find out and see if this ends up being okay. So update, it is absorbing into the skin, but it's also like cracking in other places, like the thicker parts here. Um, so I don't really know what this means, or if that means it's working, it means it's good. I don't know. So we'll find out if it's good or not, and just keep going from there. Let's give it more time because there's no nothing on here that also says the time. So I also know if I'm not supposed to leave this on because it isn't hurting at all, um, and doesn't say to wash it off. I don't know what this does. Honestly, the instructions were the most vague instructions I've ever saw in my life. Um, but it doesn't hurt, and it's not causing any irritation that I can see here. So we'll find out. I don't know. And it did absorb almost into my hand up here. That's why I'm thinking we don't wash it off. But we might. I don't know. Okay, so update. It's been about, like... 30 minutes now almost, maybe like 28, and it's starting to get weird. So on the sides, it's like turning yellow, 
looks like mucus almost. I don't know. It's cracking more. And like see down here, like it's just really yellow along the sides where it's like drying out. I don't know. But the top in my hand did absorb and it's really soft. It's very nice. Um yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how long I'm supposed to leave it on for the longest I've ever heard of anything staying on like a bleach. Like when I bleach my um legs, it stays on for uh 40 minutes. So I'll give it like another like 10 or so. Ew. I don't know. It looks a little lighter underneath those like cracks though. I don't know. Why not? We'll see the before and after result and see if this is a depilating cream or if it's just supposed to be used in between shaves and waxing, waxings to reduce hair. Weird. It's been 40 minutes now and it just keeps getting weirder on my skin. And like, it says to apply a thick, generous amount. And like, let's say this is not a depilating cream, right? It's like a like a lotion that's supposed to reduce um, hair growth. Great. I don't... You're supposed to keep this on. How do you function? Like, it's, 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 it's a generous amount. Even on, like, the thin sides, like, it's gross. Like, you couldn't go out in public with this. I don't know. I'll, I don't know. This is what, what it is right now. Um, it honestly looks like, like lymph when you get, like, a piercing. Like, like the healing process. But like if I'm supposed to like let's say like use this like on like my like face. A lot of people have said that they use this on like their like mustache and stuff. Okay, great. But like I can't like do I sleep with this on? Like it'll get everywhere. It's been 40 minutes and like the, the ends are absorbed, but it's it's gross. And then the inside is like where it's like thick. Like it's still like really thick and now it just like is cracking like all the way down, even where my wrist doesn't like bend. Um you can see here, like, my, like, it's not, definitely don't get rid of the hairs underneath of it at all. It's not depilating. Um, but, like, see how dark that one hair is there on the outside? Like, the inside hairs are blonder than the rest. Um, so, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to take this off or keep it on. This is just so bizarre. And, like, why is it cracking down there? My wrist doesn't even move there, you know? Um... So yeah. Hm. So it's been on my skin now for an hour exactly. I kept it on. It's not hurting me. Um <sighs> This may indeed reduce hair growth over prolonged use. Um and like maybe the generous amount was what I applied on the sides, but even then there's like a thick residue and it says to apply twice a day to achieve best results, right? Um, but how, because this might be like too much in the middle and that's fine, but like if the, the size of the generous amount, there's, it's still like definitely on there and the sides get so like crusty and dried out that like I don't know what i'm supposed to like do with this you know like that's i don't know but like, i will say it actually does make my skin look like really soft and nice and like the thinner areas it smells good like the top where it's really thin like not a generous amount but like thin and i rubbed up the sides it's super soft it has also some of the uh, ingredients and it's supposed to do anti-aging it's supposed to tighten soften and firm supposed to go inside the hair follicles and stop the keratin production by um stopping my the mitosis of the keratin cells reproduction but like okay the top of my hand fine the sides of my arm where i would say it would be generous but not like a lot that's nasty looking um so i'm gonna wipe it off i don't know if i should rub it in or wipe it off but i'm just gonna wipe it off and i'm gonna compare if it's lighter at all if it feels thinner feels less coarse after one use i don't know man this is this this is weird um so yeah been an hour and 10 ish um but i'm gonna wipe it off with these here bloom natural like makeup wipes remover towels okay so here we go with cleaning off this after an hour and now 12 minutes 
of my first since my first application because like this is probably too much here in the middle but like the sides might i would say that's generous i don't know oh god it's so gross ew Interesting. It might have actually removed some hair. Wait a second. Okay, so I think it actually did remove some hair, actually. Let me see if I'm gonna focus in here. Like, there's like some, like a little bit more bald spots. Kind of see it in there. Like, it's lighter compared to the rest of my hair. Uh, I don't really. <laughs> this is what it looks like when it comes off. <laughs> it's so gross. Um, <laughs> looks like lymph and mucus. Oh, God. I don't think there's anything on the side. Yeah. Ew, man, this is gross. All right. Um, yeah. Mm. So this is the arm that had the cream on it. And then this is the arm that did not. And honestly, I kind of see a difference. It is a little lighter, actually. And it is softer. I will give it that. It doesn't cause any redness or irritation. My skin is firmer. It smells nice. Um... But I would say where it actually was the thickest is where I can see the most results and difference between the two. Because it is a lot lighter hair, actually. Um, and it might have gotten rid of a few strands. I couldn't see any on the towelette that I wiped off. But there's a chance that it could have. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this is. But it's super soft, man. Like, it's, it's nice, actually. Um, yeah. And it looks lighter. So I think it did something, and I think maybe after like multiple uses, I would see like a larger difference. Um, but I would say if you're looking for a, depl a depilating cream, it is not this. I can promise you that, that it's not this product. But this product may be good for like face cream, something lighter, but like this is, it's actually okay. It, it did something, you know? Um, but when you apply it so thick, you cannot sleep with it on, you cannot go out with it. It looks like you're gonna have a lymph all over your body. That's really gross. Um, so put it on before bed, but not too much that it gets all over your sheets and pillow or in your clothes. Um, I don't know. It's it's a very odd product, but it does, it's like lotion that might get rid of some hair. And is it worth forty two dollars? I don't know. Definitely not above forty two. Um, but I mean, the bottle will last a long time, and I think I can use this on models parts of my body, and it didn't cause any irritation. I can definitely use this on my face with it being fine. Um, so if it tightens and firms and softens skin and might reduce hair's, uh, thickness a little bit and might make it a little lighter, sounds good to me. So I will probably be using this on my face. I will not be putting on my legs because, mm -mm, if it was going to make it go away, I'd do it. But just this. Now, I'll just be using this as, like, really fancy, expensive lotion for places that have body hair. Or face hair. So, yeah, um, buy it. Maybe. I don't know. Not a depilating cream, but good. Nice lotion. Upon inspection of the towelette further, there is indeed a hair on the towelette. See, you can see it right there in the middle. I can point out it is. You see it right there, the one hair that came off for sure. And like there are some others, I think it's probably like mixed into this cream here. I am not sure, but hey, it did actually remove a couple. So that's good. Ew, 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 ew. So yeah, good lotion that will remove a couple of hairs. Might, you could buy it if you have a lot of money. That, yeah. Watch this video and somehow want to know more about me and my hair. You can follow my Instagram at Tasha8388, T-A-S-H-A-8388. Peace, guys.